A chaotic or chaotic scene stretching from the coast to the valley. Tonight, three people are dead and the manhunt continues for a suspect who we will show you in just a moment. Thanks for joining us. I'm Carly Tinsley. Now it all began this morning just before 10. There were three incidents, a hit and run that killed one person at the mill casino, a shooting nearby that killed a second and a third discovery of a body inside a trailer park at the casino. In just the last half hour, police have sent us this photo of the suspect here on your screen. Take a look. They say he's described as a white standing about six foot two wearing a light colored t-shirt and blue jeans. We're going to go straight to a live report with KZI 9 News reporter Chris Lindsay on Highway 126 where police are still searching for that suspect. Chris, what can you tell us? Yes, Carly, I'm here on Highway 126. Now, I will let you know that I am a couple of miles from where the incident actually occurred. The crash, that is, that's because I was having some connectivity issues, but this is important information. Those incidents that you mentioned earlier, they were connected to a white Dodge pickup truck. That truck has since crashed near highway marker 39 on Highway 126. It's unclear whether that uh, vehicle was involved by itself or other people were involved in that. The suspect, however, is still at large, as you said, and he is considered to be armed and dangerous. If you see him, do not approach him. Dial 911. Right now, the intersection of Poodle Road and Highway 126 is cut off to through traffic, which means no one can get through without a police escort if you do live on that street. Reporting live in Vanita, Chris Lindsay, KZI 9 News.